Every year, Apple releases new features for iPhones. Many of them are big, flashy updates or things that you can't possibly miss. Others are small, hidden in the background, or even hidden in plain sight. Here are six of them that I think you should know. I want you to comment down below if you know all of them or which ones you learned. Number one, did you know that your iPhone has Shazam built in natively? Just ask Siri, what song is this? And Shazam will take care of the rest. Trying to be discreet? No worries. You can add Shazam to your control center. Go to settings, control center, and then easily have it waiting at your fingertips. Now, just one call out on this. Just because you can use this at your next pub trivia does not mean that you should. You've been warned. Number two, have you ever used the measure app? It's fun to play around with or to get an estimated measurement in a pinch. You just point and click and measure. It's really easy. You can even use it to get a quick estimate on how tall someone is. Hey, that should say six foot two. Anyway, perhaps even more useful, hidden inside the measure app is a level. Now you can use this when you're hanging a photo on the wall or ensuring that your table is flat or any other time you might need to get something level. Number three. Most people today have automatic app updates enabled. So when you plug your phone in for a charge, your phone will periodically update apps which have new versions available. If you want to check whether you have this enabled, you can go to Settings, App Store, Automatic Downloads. But what if you need to force a specific update for a specific app? Let's say you're going to an event and they require you to have the latest app to get your ticket to work. Yes, you can go to the individual apps page in the App Store, but a quicker way is going to the App Store, select your face in the top corner or your initials if you don't have a photo set up, scroll down to Upcoming Automatic Updates. Note that you may need to pull down to refresh the page and choose Update All to push those updates immediately. This way you can always make sure that you have the latest version of all the apps installed right now rather than waiting for later when you're charging. Number four. Now, everybody knows that 2020 and beyond has been the glory days for QR codes. But did you know that there is a dedicated QR code app pre-installed on your iPhone? Now, yes, you can use the regular old camera app requiring you to tap the button in order to launch the code or try searching for Code Scanner. This hidden mini app will automatically launch the QR code, making it just a hair quicker than using your camera. If you'd like to give this a try, open it up now and scan this QR code. This QR code will take you to subscribe to the channel. So if you haven't done that already, give it a try. If you're on mobile, scroll down and give it a, give it a click. Go ahead, I'll wait. And while we wait, I'll call out that just like with Shazam, you can add this to your control center for quick access as well. So you may have been saying, oh, well, it's quicker to open the camera. Well, it'd just be about the same. Either one works. Number five may be the most obvious of the hidden features, but it's probably more useful than you give it credit for. It's Spotlight Search, the search bar that you get when you swipe down on your home screen. You can use this for actual searches, like, I don't know, when you want to know how fast a giraffe is. You can also use it to search for specific things on your phone like how I mentioned adding things to your control center. Simply search for control center and you can jump straight to that setting screen. Super handy. You can search for contacts in your phone, you can search for calendar events, messages, and more. My final call out is that you can easily search for apps. Since iOS now lets you remove apps from your home screen without deleting them from your phone, hide all of those rarely used apps like your insurance or that restaurant you go to once or twice a year and have a nice simple home screen and then on the rare occasions when you do need those apps you don't have to go all the way over into the app folder and scroll down and find it instead just search for what you need number six is actually a feature built into the notes app one of the og apps of the iphone did you know that notes has an actual built-in document scanner that's right, there is no longer a need to have a dedicated scanner app, which many people have probably had for years. Instead, when you need to send someone a copy of a document from your phone, for example, something you have to sign and return, simply open a note, 
click on the camera button, select scan documents, and let the app take care of the rest. You can even do multi-page documents and then turn them into PDFs in order to send off to your accountant, your lawyer, your bank, whoever needs a signed document. So be honest, how many of these hidden features were on your radar and what are some hidden features not on my list? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, you may like the one on the iPhone's lock screen widgets, which I believe are extremely useful and extremely underutilized. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.